Okay, okay, so I'm back, you guys. Um, <clears throat> I went ahead and did my makeup off camera because I had like half an hour to wait for the second part of this three-parter video to upload. And um, I just wanted to get back to my topic. Also, just show you guys everything I use um, on this. Um, I use the BB Fresh, the Dream BB Fresh by Maybelline. And this is the Medium Deep. I also use the Age Rewind um, Eraser for Dark Circles by Maybelline as well. And this is in Honey. I use the Dream Bounce Blush by Maybelline. And this is in Coffee Cake. I also use some of this Flower Liquid Illuminator. Illuminizer. <laughs> um, and this is in number five, Champagne Shimmer. Absolutely adore this makeup line by Drew Barrymore Flower. If you guys don't know about it, you should definitely check it out. Like, it's affordable and it's lightweight and it's come on, it's it's supporting Drew Barrymore. Like, who doesn't love Drew Barrymore? Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um. Also, um, I think I showed this in my other one, but I'll show it again. For my lips, I use the Wet n Wild Mega Stick and Bronze Berry. Let's touch that up, matter of fact. Um, okay, so yeah. And then I use the LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow, but I don't use it as eyeshadow, not really. Um, I mostly just use it like for my face, you know, for my cheeks. And um, to like... And then I use the LA Colors um, Water Lily is the name of it. And I use this one for my eyes. I also picked up this LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner in brown. Um, chest, chestnut brown, I believe, for my fox freckles. Um, that I do and I think it's kind of funny that this is a trend now because I was doing this years ago and people thought that they were real beauty marks and I remember one time I was getting dressed and um some women that I know were there too and like we were just talking and I was just getting ready and they're like you put those on those aren't natural and I was like no it's mascara because I was like getting the mascara out of the tube and like sticking it on the top kind of like extra paint and I would get like a really sharp sharp pen and like dip it in and use it like that or I would use um, my eyeliner and I'd mix it and then like put it there and I'd like have it here and this was before I got my piercing I'd do it you know like the two dots exactly where I wanted my piercing like every day and then I'd have one here because I mean all I do is just fill in the smaller ones that I actually do already have and I may have put a few extra ones just you know to enhance it um, especially here from my nose all the way down and let's talk about this highlighter like I think I did an amazing job to not really do highlighter that much let alone makeup yeah and, and I did use my beauty blender I need to clean it so yeah <laughs> um, also, I have like a handful of brushes, uh oh, <laughs> but I don't have like 12 or 20, you know, like I just use like the main few that I think, you know, work well with my face, which is like, this is my favorite one because it's spiky in a way, like I love how it feels on my face, like it feels really therapeutic for some reason. And this one is like the Eco 
eco brand. Um, I forget the name, but um, when I see it again, I'll get it and then I'll tell you guys officially because there's a few other brushes that I want to get. Like there's a bigger one and it's huge and I'm like, oh, I know that's going to feel amazing once I get it. So then I use this one also just like for duster for my eyelashes to get the extra eyeshadow off my lashes, which are natural. I don't put on false eyelashes like I've done it before, but it's just not something I'll do again, you know, not personally. Like someone else can probably do it for me, um, but I just, yeah. <laughs> and then I also use this eyeshadow brush. It's by e.l.f. And it's the C brush, whatever that means. Um, a few more things by Maybelline. I use the brow pencil, the micro one, precise, brow precise, sorry, micro crayon. And it has like this little brush for your eyelashes or your eyebrows. <laughs> and then it's just in brown. And I use that for my eyebrows. Um, which I'm still trying to perfect for my face because I was one of those women walking around without eyebrows and didn't really know what to do with her own eyebrows besides brush them because it wasn't that much there anyway. <laughs> but now I'm like, you know, I call myself making them work now. And then I also use a black eyeliner. You know, it's, it's by, uh, ooh. I can't even see what that says like it's just kind of smeared off but you know regular black eyeliner you know they all look the same um, and then I use this brush it says concealer on the package um, but I didn't use it to apply the concealer I use the concealer like I just put it on my face and then just you know pat it in my fingers or use my beauty blender but this brush I just picked up so you know I kind of like dabbed it a little bit afterwards just to get the creases that I may have caused to form after that and then this one is my favorite too because it's big and it's like kind of pokey like this one but it's not as hard like this one is hard but it's soft like you know what I mean like look at that I love these fluffy brushes like they're amazing they feel so so good um, and then I also use these for my eyelashes Ow! yeah you guys remember this I remember having these in like um, middle school like really thinking I was doing something to my eyelashes and I was I was helping them <laughs> you know like click click flip flip boop 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 and this was before I was wearing mascara, you know, I was not wearing mascara. I was just using this and my finger to like fluff up my lashes and go. And then I discovered mascara and it was by Maybelline and it was the one with the green top and the pink base. Well, like black writing, I think that was my very first mascara ever. And I absolutely loved it, you know, um, and last but not least, before I get into my subject today, um, I use perfume. I love this perfume. It's called Lux. Lux. Maybe someone can help me with that. I know you guys have seen this. Maybe this way you can see it. Or this way. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for that. Um, my get ready with me, what I did when I was off camera, because I did make another video. And I was rambling a little bit, and I'm sorry about that, but, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to keep focused on the balance of positiveness um, and not allow myself to give in to these withdrawal symptoms that are bothering me, you know, like it's <sighs> the irritation is one thing that you know I've dealt with anyway because it was mostly just irritated in myself but this irritation lately is with 
everybody, everything, the slightest sound, I'm just like flying off the fucking handle because I'm irritated and I'm just like, no. And my speech is slowed also. And that's not something that is normal for me. Um, it's like I'm trying to like process what I want to say at a slower rate than I'm used to. So it makes me not want to say anything at all, if that makes any sense. Because I feel like I'm talking too much, but then I'm just assuming that I'm feeling a certain way and I shouldn't be. You know, so then it just keeps me in the mindset of that, plus already trying to figure out why am I going through withdrawals? Is it because I don't have the medication or is it because that's just what my body wants to do right now? Like, you know what I mean? Like, but at the same time, I mean, that, that really doesn't make any sense because I've been having the withdrawal symptoms since I've been off the medication. And, you know, like I was saying on my other video that I've had so many trial and errors for medication that it's like to feel this way now from this particular new medication that I'm on, it makes me not want to take it again because I never felt these withdrawal symptoms that are so severe that caused me to call a crisis hotline that if that's what they're doing to me when I don't have them and they have an effect in the beginning when I start taking them again, it's like, is it really worth it? No, because it's like I can never not be without it, you know, and I don't see myself continuously forever taking pills every day, you know, and I'm not going to claim that, you know, I'm not going to put that in the universe. I'm not going to allow that to be something that I think about because I know that I have strength that I overlook at times. And I think that's when the withdrawal symptoms are strongest. Um, it's when I lose sight of my strength, you know, and the vertigo and the dizzy spells, you know, I could just be sitting still like a minute ago. I kind of blew it off, but, you know, I got dizzy and I'm just sitting still, you know, I'm trying to sit as still as possible, but I'm still rocking, you know, like I have a slight rocking motion and I'm trying to hold my leg, like I'm holding my leg right now, so I won't rock too much, or at least for you guys to see it, you know, like I don't, you know, it's just, it's just like, uh, and, you know, like confusion sometimes and I'm just sitting there like what was I just thinking about or what was I going to do or what was I about to write down like you know and it was just like an instant thing that like comes and goes and I'm just sitting there like I just literally had this idea in my head and where did it go like you know what I mean like I lost it and then I'm sitting there like oh shit okay so maybe I just need to go to bed because I just would rather be asleep than feel like I do dealing with these withdrawal symptoms, you know? And I just want to say that if you're going through withdrawals and you don't understand why you feel like you do or you just feel like you don't have anyone to talk to just always know that you do you know call a crisis hotline if that's what you need to do to help you continue and not give up you know because a lot of thoughts that you have never found yourself having you can find yourself having by not being on certain medication and you know some people wonder you know they'll argue about you know hey that's how that person was anyway the medication just brought it out of them or you know that person ended up that way because of the medication you know but it's like when you're trying to help your brain be receptive to things that you can't be receptive to on your own and focus on long enough 
you know, that's positive, you know, sometimes you do need that extra help, you know, and it sucks because when you don't have it, when you don't have the medication, you have to go through these symptoms that just tear you apart and just make you feel like giving up every fucking thing. And it's all because of a pill and you're just like, it has to be something better than this, you know, like there's no way that I'm going to be stuck taking these pills that make me feel this way if I don't have them for the rest of my life, you know, like you want to get to that point where you don't have to take medication to feel a certain way or to process a certain way, you know, and it causes me to wonder, you know, like what is, what are the SS, SSRI medications actually doing to the brain if these symptoms are happening, you know, and it, it's, it doesn't matter what medication you take, but honestly, these particular withdrawal symptoms are all new and the ones that I had before you know, they were common, they were simple, they were small, you know, um, and I was okay. I was able to, you know, handle those a little bit better than I am now with these particular withdrawal symptoms. Um, but I mean, I honestly feel like I've been rambling and just staring at myself in the viewfinder of my phone. And that's okay, um, because that's just how it is sometimes, you know, and um, yeah, like I'm just, I get lost for words even faster than normal too now, and it's like, okay, that's fine, but you know, I just wanted to make this video just to talk to you guys about that and share with you guys what's been going on with me because I haven't made a video in a while. And um, those of you that are concerned, don't be concerned. I'm fine. You know, my boy is fine. We're good. Um, it's because we can be right now and it's summer. We've been enjoying our summer um, as much as we can to not be too hot and overheat. Um, and you guys do the same, you know, try not to overheat. Make sure you have water. Um, if you walk, make sure you take water with you. Um, even get a cold wet towel put it in the freezer for a while and take it with you on your walk or whatever you're going you know to cool yourself off um, put it in a ziploc bag if you don't want to just have it free falling on your neck or holding it you know put it in a ziploc bag and then put it in the freezer and then just you know take it like that with you throughout the day you know freeze like half a bottle of water freeze it and then like take it out of the freezer and add more water to it um, and then take it with you. It'll last a hell of a lot longer and you'll stay cool. You know, you don't have to necessarily drink it. You can just like put it on you, on your neck and stuff like that to cool yourself off. But this is not, you know, stay hydrated 101. You know, I'm just, I digress and <laughs> I've been doing that quite a bit, but that's okay. Um, you know, and I, I'll try to make a little habit um, of when I'm feeling my withdrawals, you know, I, I rather just let it out, um, this way, because I know that a lot of you understand where I'm coming from when it comes to withdrawals and, um, fighting through them.